I'm Kat, and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So it's the end of August, which very sadly means that is the end of summer. <laughs> Not ready for fall to begin. The good news is that it is time for me to do my favorites video. I've been doing them about every two months now, and the one good thing is that means I often accumulate a lot of products I want to talk to you about. So got quite a few things to go through, but I think you'll find them very interesting. Um, and of course, if you like hearing about clean and conscious beauty, be sure to click the subscribe button so you're notified when I post new videos. And we're trying to hit 4,000 subscribers around here. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, we will have already hit 4,000. But even if we have, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click the bell button so you're notified of when I post new videos. And come follow me on Instagram. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Cat there for some more content. And let's go ahead and jump right in. I've actually got a mixture of skincare and makeup products this time. So I think I'll kind of alternate back and forth. And we'll walk through them. The first one I want to talk about is this one here from Save Beauty. This is their, the Save Beauty um, Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Light. If you guys have been watching any of my videos on my channel this summer, I'm sure you've seen this mentioned because I really have been enjoying this is a beautiful cream bronzer. Um, the one thing is I wish the shade was a little bit lighter. I could, with my fair skin, use a little bit lighter shade. However, if I have a light hand, I can make this product work. And I just have really enjoyed it. I love the Tower 28 cream bronzer in the shade uh, Sun Coast. And that shade is a better shade match for me. However, I really like the formula of this one because it's a little bit more of a cream to powder finish. Dries down a little bit better, and especially on these really hot summer days, I find that this just holds up a little bit better. This has been a summer of cream bronzer for me, which I've never found cream bronzers that I like. But I'm now the Tower 28, I now have this one. This one also is a matte cream bronzer. So if you don't want any kind of uh, shimmer to your bronzer, this is a great option as well. Yeah, I really been enjoying it. I was gonna say Beauty and I feel like didn't get off on the best foot when they first launched, but I really enjoyed their new liquid blush and also their, their cream bronzer. Okay, so the uh, next product I want to shout out is this one right here. This is from Good Molecules. You guys know that I love Good Molecules. They've gifted me some products. This one I actually purchased on my own. This is the BHA Clarify Gel Cream. And I picked this up because it contains salicylic acid. Um, I always use some sort of salicylic serum, gel, something or other on my face at night. I do have oily, acne prone skin. And although um, my acne has actually gotten a lot better in like recent years, I think in part because I have been using a salicylic acid serum every single night. And now I'm actually terrified to not use one because uh, I'm very happy with how my skin looks. But I picked this one up because I've been using the Juice Beauty Blush Clearing Serum for years. However, um, it's a little bit on the pricier side. It's not like one of the most expensive skincare products, but it's a little pricier. And I've just had really, really good luck with good molecules. So I decided to try this out and I have to say, I'm really happy with it. The Juice Beauty Blemish Cleaning Serum is definitely more of like a liquidy serum product. This is a gel, but I find that it has enough salicylic acid that really does a great job of helping to keep my skin clear. And it's quite affordable as well. It also comes in a metal packaging, um, which I appreciate. So it is a little bit um, easier to recycle. My skin is staying really clear, really happy, really healthy. So I definitely would recommend this if you are looking for a some sort of salicylic acid product to add to your routine. Okay, the next product has definitely become a complete summertime staple for me. And this is the Hint Beauty Encore Press Setting Powder. They did send this to me um, and asked me to do a reel using some of their products, which I did, but I ended up falling head over heels in love with this powder. Um, I have to show you, I've, I've hit pan on it. I, I definitely need to pick up another one. Um, you can see that right there. Um, but I've really been enjoying this because it has been extremely hot. It is at least 90 degrees here in Boston today, probably a little bit hotter at this point. And because of that, I've really been gravitating towards very minimal makeup looks and using a powder foundation in place of a liquid foundation. Part of the reason I've been doing that is because my skin has been really clear. I haven't really felt like I needed a lot of coverage and a powder foundation like this has been perfect. It's even out my skin tone, helped to reduce any redness. You know, if I do have a little bit of a breakout, it gives me a little bit of coverage, but because it's a powder, it really has been holding up, holding up a lot better 
on these hot days, especially with my oily skin. I probably would not use a powder foundation on its own during the winter. I don't think that would dry well, even with having oily skin. Um, but in the summer, this has become an absolute staple for me. Um, I really like the level of coverage. I just think it looks really nice. It holds up well. Yeah, I'm impressed. Um, I mean, the fact that I've hit pin on it in a couple months that I have it should to tell you how much I've been using it. This one right here, they did send this one to me, but I had had my eyes on it and nearly picked it up a whole bunch of times. This is the um, Good Molecule Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. And we've gone through this. I have oily acne prone skin. I find that my skin responds very well to acid. Salicylic acid, glycolic acid, like my skin just, to keep it in its best shape, I need quite a acid heavy routine. And I know that that's not what everyone needs, but that is what my skin needs. I really have come to enjoy this product. It provides a really nice level of exfoliation, but it's pretty gentle. I only use this maybe like twice a week. Um, and I use it at night because uh, it does recommend that because it is a, a glycolic acid product. So I realized I haven't been using many face masks recently. And I think a large part of that is I've discovered other products in my routine like this that can achieve similar effects to a face mask. Um, I used to use like chemical exfoliating face mask on a fairly regular basis. But this I'm able to just put it on a cotton round, spread it around, and then it's done. Like I don't need out, you know, to wait half an hour, 20 minutes. Like I can do this in, you know, two minutes, just let it dry and then continue on with my skincare routine. So the ingredients are pretty minimal in it as well. And it's not overly strong. Sometimes I can feel it a little tingly on my skin, but it's very, very mild, especially compared to a lot of other acid products I've tried. All right, the next product I have to shout out is this one here from Root. This is their eye primer. And I've been on a quest to find an eye primer that compares to the Aaron's Faces eye primer. And this is the one that has come in closest. Um, would I say it's a perfect dupe? Is anything ever really gonna live up to Aaron's Faces eye primer in my mind? Probably not, but this one does come extremely, extremely close does a great job of helping um, hold my eyeshadows in place. I do have oily eyelids and hooded eyelids. So eyeshadow just tends to migrate around my eyes and not want to stay in place. And this really helps to provide extra longevity. Um, I have a video actually where I compare the two eye primers. I'll link that up above in case you want to see by side by side comparison. But I really do like this. If you are in the market for an eyeshadow primer and you really want something that's going to provide longevity to your shadows, I recommend this. Um, Rude is just a really great brand and this product is definitely one of their standout products for me. Um, yeah, it is tinted. Um, it is a tinted primer, so it matches pretty close to my skin tone. Obviously, if you have a deeper skin tone, this is going to show up a bit light, but overall, I think it's, I think it's a great product. And it really works. Like that's what you want at the end of the day is an eye primer that works. Like I'm mentioning this too late in the summer, but you know, uh, this is the Solera Sun Care Glow Getter Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30 sunscreen. I don't always use SPF 30 if I'm going to be like outside, like I'm going to be hiking, I'm going to be disc golfing, I'm going to the beach, I'm going to use an SPF 50. But on a day to day basis, this is what I use. So if I'm just like running my errands, doing my usual stuff, this is what I've been reaching for. I really like the Solera um, sunscreen, uh, sunscreen formula. It's not too sticky, it's not too gloopy. I find I can blend it out really well. And this Glow Getter one is really fun because it has like little bits of shimmer in it and it just gives your body such a beautiful, beautiful glow. And especially if I put on a little bit of self tanner and then put this on, ah, I feel like a glowing summer goddess, uh, which is not something I usually feel like with my super fair, fair skin, um, but I really have been enjoying this. Solera did send me this bottle, but I have purchased them before myself. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a product I would repurchase again and come around next summer. Um, but it's a lovely, lovely sunscreen. I'm really picky with sunscreens, especially with how they feel, how they rub in. Um, and this one, I mean, it probably white cast me a smidge, but I feel like the shimmer in it really helps to just kind of like blur the skin and kind of hide that fact. I recently tried out Undone Beauty. I will link the video up above where I tried out a bunch of their products. There have been a few standout products for me. And the first one I have to recommend is this one here. This is their eyeshadow palette. Like I am blown away by how much I love this. I need to pick up, they have a larger palette. That is like on my list of things to pick up. This is the um, Curator Eye Quad in the shade Outfit Optional. 
it's fantastic. It is so affordable and it's such a good eyeshadow formula. Um, there are three kind of metallic shades, this one, this one, and this one, and then one matte shade. And the formula of all these is just beautiful. They blend really easily. The metallics are actually metallic. They're not chunky. They're not glittery. They're not dry. They're very creamy, very buttery. And the matte shade is very kind of creamy, buttery too, and it blends super well. It's got a good level of pigmentation. I was blown away by this. I did not expect this product to be as good as it was. I kind of went into it with low expectations because uh, definitely had some hit or miss uh, eyeshadow formulas before, but this one, outstanding. And I really love the colorway of this. I mean, it's super basic, but it's like the perfect neutral palette. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just really, really solid. I feel like I'm talking about a lot of products that were sent to me, but honestly, uh, I give you my honest thoughts and I would tell you if I didn't like something, but this here is the new Kinship Brightway um, eye cream. I really enjoy this. And I want to start off by saying that eye creams often are really overpriced. And like Good Molecules, one of the reasons I've come to really appreciate Kinship is their price point. I feel like it's reasonable for clean skincare. Like, the price is very reasonable. And especially for an eye cream, I feel like this product is super reasonable. I love it. It's a beautiful color. It's, it's kind of orangey color. I feel like it's hard for me to get it show up with the yellow packaging, but it's this beautiful orange color. Packaging is made from glass. It's, it's this beautiful neon yellow. I enjoy this. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick, but it definitely provides moisture under my eyes. I feel like it just sinks in really nicely and gives me a nice level of hydration under my eyes. I can apply makeup on top of it in the morning um, and it works really well. It's not too greasy. I've had problems with some um, eye creams being like too greasy and having problems getting concealer on top of it. But this is just really nice. And I haven't noticed like a huge, huge difference, but I never do with eye creams. At this point, I'm mostly using eye creams to just like help prevent wrinkles and keep the skin really hydrated and happy. And this product does it for me and it does such a really great reasonable price point. And um, Kinship is just an awesome, awesome brand. And I wanted to share this with you. I shared it on my stories, but yeah, I've really been enjoying this. This is the MOB Beauty. Um, these are their cream blushes and they did send these to me. I know I'm talking about a lot of products that were sent to me, but I've had a lot of PR come my way recently. Um, and I just want to let you know that, you know, when things are sent to me, but I really have been enjoying these. I am a huge cream or blush lover. If you watch any amount of my videos, you're going to figure that out pretty quickly, but these definitely, um, get the cat stamp of approval. They're nice and pigmented. They also are a bit more of a cream to powder finish. They all are called their clay blushes. And I find that they, you know, give you that cream blush effect and that you can blend them out really well. You can use your fingers. But then they dry down a bit and they're not sticky. They're not leaving your cheeks feeling greasy. Your hair is not getting stuck to them. It's a really pretty formula and they have quite a few colors. I have four of them here, but they have more available on their website. I like that their sustainability commitment. I like that these are you know designed to be refillable. So it checks all those boxes and I've been using these for well over a month at this point and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying them. All right, we are going to finish with one more skincare product and this is from Alpine Beauty. They recently released their Wild Nettle and Niacinamide Firming Serum um, and they did send this to me. I tried out a whole bunch of um, Alpine Beauty products. I will link that video up above. To be honest, Alpine Beauty is a more expensive skincare brand, but I have found that their skincare products are really high quality and you know, I, I think in that way they can be worth the price. Um, I've really been enjoying this because I am a huge fan of niacinamide. I find that my skin responds really well to that. That's part of the journey with skincare for me. And it is, it'll be that way for you too, is that you really have to find the ingredients that your skin resonates with. What works for me may not work as well for you, but for me, this has been working beautifully. I've been using it in the morning as my morning serum. I also like that it has been playing really well on her makeup. Um, I haven't had any issues with it balling up, clumping up, anything like that, um, which I really appreciate. And my skin has just been really happy. I've been wearing very minimal foundation, um, really just a light powder foundation. And that's been it. And products like this are really what makes that possible for me. This is not at all a shimmery serum. Their other serum has kind of got a bit of a shimmer to it. This is not, doesn't have that at all. So I actually, prefer this for that reason. For me and my skin type, this serum is much better suited 
for me. Um, the other one, I can work with it. I, it does work well, but if I had to pick between the two for having oily skin, I would recommend this one. Um, yeah, I feel like I've been enjoying it. I have been using it for a couple weeks now and I will continue using it till it runs out because I very much enjoy it. I feel like I was really powering through a lot of packs there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what has been your favorite uh, recently for the summer. And let me know if you're curious about trying out any of these products. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.